Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one I'm going to do something I haven't done in a very long time. I'm going to do a feud prep video, mainly because I think this is very interesting and there's going to be a, some possibilities. Um, I've made a list on the right. It's not an exhaustive list um, as far as everyone you could use. Tried to focus more on people that might be really good-ish and you might already have leveled. Typically, I've, I've always said, and I still maintain this, leveling somebody for one feud is not a good use of your resources. Um, so let me start with that. Um, this feud in particular, the first one, I think this one is a really good one, I think, as far as the rules go. A thousand percent leech gem damage. Now, this is assuming the things work similar to showdown. So that is an assumption on my part, right? Um uh, if it works like that, the leech gems are going to be a 10 times buff, similar to boss battle. Um, so you're basically looking at essentially one leech gem is the equivalent of a times 10 multiply gem. That makes it a lot more interesting. Trap gems times five, botch gems times five. Also, assuming it works like boss and it'll work on finishers and stuff that do damage per, you can use those too. Again, this is not exhaustive. Um, I'm not going to get everybody. This is just to give you some ideas, hopefully help, uh, in between, uh, flash feuds. There's not a lot of time always to get ready. Um, have some of the recommended move sets there. We're going to go through this pretty quick. No gameplay. Um, just talk about some things, right? I think one thing that's important to note this first one is no skill plates. You can still have them equipped. They just won't do anything. So if you're if you have people that were relying on a skill plate to win um, easily, let's say like uh, my Rex Regum um, triple red without the Piper plate, he's not going to hit hard triple red. So that's not he, he would come out of my roster with that build set unless there's another viable one for him. Right. Um, that's just one example. So that's something you need to be aware of. I can't, I can't go over everyone that would be affected by no skill plate. And I'm not going to try. That's on you for your roster. But the Leech Gem boost in particular, I think, is going to be a lot of fun with maybe people you've already worked on. And one thing I, I saw a lot is like, this sucks because I'm not going to be able to use the skill plate I paid for. That's true for this particular Flash Feud that there's one of. However, you can use people that you did pay for and did build that you had shelved. Um, perfect example of that. And I'm on the CC account. This isn't my account. This filter in between is actually pretty good. It gets most of the ones would be trick Ollie. This is, again, is not mine. I do have my trick Ollie though at silver and I can't really run him anymore. However, he would make the bottom five rows into leech gems and the finisher is going to make all of those leech gems into black gems and he can cho charge it with this move. So it's basically like, the bottom five rows into 10 times multiply gems, right? Um, so I could dust Ali off the goat here and play with him. That's just an example. Um, Scott Steiner, BPP. Um, you may not have his ultimate, the ultimate plate that gets used on him a lot, the Bubba's glasses. Um, but now you would have his leeches would essentially be times 10 multiply gems for his triple purple setup, right? So he becomes a lot more interesting all of a sudden um, for a lot of people, potentially. Um, moving on, how about Shinsuke Nakamura Trickster? A lot of people got him, and this was him. Both him and Ali were shortly before uh, new the new, I guess if you want to call it, the new level of the new tier came out of gold, and then he kind of just didn't really keep up. But like in Shinsuke's case, this, for example, triple blue, you're going to be able to break some traps, put a bunch of leeches out, not move the pin bar, and then turn all 20 of those, um, at least 20 of those uh, leech gems into blue. And that's essentially like 200 gems worth of blue, plus you're getting the trap one. So now maybe all of a sudden you can use King of Pop style. Um, another great example, Tamatanga. I don't like his triple uh, purple moveset, but guess what? In this feud it would be pretty dang good. I still might use his move damage because it's so good. In fact, I probably maybe would. I don't know. Maybe not. Um, but triple purple all of a sudden, you're breaking some traps that are going to do decent damage, and then you're making all those leeches into purple, 34 of them times 10. 
Actually, yeah, I, I would probably use this one over the other one. Um, so that's pretty cool. He's also 99 MP. You can stack up with that. Um, pretty neat. Uh, another one that a lot of people will have, and I try to include some people that a lot of people will have, and maybe you've already leveled them. If you don't have a drip plate, maybe you forgot about this guy, but Lug Ludwig Kaiser, for example, can run his finisher, uh, making the black gems along with his leech gems, right? And so those will all be potentially, essentially times 10 size gems. So another uh, person you could dust off if you never had a drip plate or whatever, and you'd be like, man, Kaiser can get it done, this this flash feud, in this particular first one. Um, so the, the really big ones, honestly, are the the leeches and the traps. The traps are only five times, but um, there's still some people that are going to be really good. Ozzy's a 1 MP guy, so goes without saying Ozzy. Probably red, red, black, the double trap, the buff, the black gems. Woods... Uh, Turtle Woods, 99 MP, he's got a bunch of different trap things you could do with 99 MP, that's why I said pick one on there, um, whatever you want to do. Hall of Fame Brutus, uh, black, purple, purple, probably, I mean, maybe you run the, the finisher, but the finisher's kind of broken, I think, I'm working on, on getting that sorted out, I sent some video in of that, um, but, uh, so I'd probably run black, purple, purple. Akam's another guy that a lot of people have for free, maybe leveled up because he's your best trickster. And again, this is not all the trap people. So I, uh, Kali you could use for sure. There are other people you could use. You could actually use Rosie and the, and the traps are five times, so they're not as big. Uh, maybe Andrade, I don't I mean, like there's a lot of different people you could use. So I'm not, It's this is not exhaustive, but so this kind of build with Akam. Right, 35 traps into purple, and then he generates a bunch more blacks. Those 35 traps are going to be like times five multiplies his primary color. And then you're going to make a bunch more into yellow gems. So maybe you're running that with Akum. Um, in the case of Julius, a lot of people, maybe not a lot of people, some people, myself included, um, got the Tamatonga plate on Julius so that he could two click and hit really hard. You can't use the plate, but guess what? With trap gems being buffed, he'll probably hit every bit as hard. I would just run him double purple. If you don't have the Tama uh, Tonga plate for him um, and you haven't tried two clicking him, give it a whirl. See how it works for you. You might have some fun this feud and be like, oh my gosh, uh, this isn't so bad after all if, I, if you have Julius. Put a gem damage trap on him, load up on purple gem damage, trap damage, things like that, and see how it hits for you. Um, and that's kind of a rundown on some of those. Now, this one in particular, I think a lot of people might enjoy. LA Knight, uh, Triple Blue, never hit quite hard enough for me. I think maybe today this feud, Flash Feud, is the day he could. So if you have LA Knight, uh, you might look into Triple Blue and have some fun with him. Yeah, um, this Flash Feud, because he's going to have essentially a five times buff. There's a bunch of um, traps. He makes at least 18 into blue, put more generates so you can break more. He can do up to 36 of them with the blue buff, right? So triple blue LA Knight, I think, is probably going to be a lot of fun on a build set that probably isn't getting played much anymore. So you could give LA Knight a spin, try that out. Um, as far as botch goes, I think botch is the least impressive, like I said, of the three, even though it's 500%. Uh, but just some quick ones. I mean, a lot of people uh, leveled up rock. Um, striker rock so you can maybe do something like this with the choose and the juggernauts get the botches to go hit the finisher so assuming it works uh five times on the finisher the it's going to be like 504k uh base there um before your trainers and stuff and the finisher should just hit super duper hard um so put your jugs out make a five match whatever you got to do nwo hogan to get it charged easier unless you have mellow um, that kind of thing. So Final Boss Rock, I think, could be super interesting um, for you. And again, this this video is not for everyone. If you have all the 99 MP people, you're probably not doing this, right? You're, you're going to run your 99s in this one, a lot of them. Ilya will still be fine. Um, you can see the list there. Um, I think you'd be fine with Striker Batista still, depending how you want to run him. Obviously, OTC Roman Jacob. Um, they're going to be fine. The Turtle Seth would be fine. Uh, Solo would be fine. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to worry about um, a lot of the a lot of the the no skill plate thing. Um, 
and who else for botch we got uh rex regim this is the one of the examples i was talking about um with rex and you can see the filter actually works really well there's a ton of botch guys you could use that's why i'm not going to cover everyone uh because it would take forever um, and this feud, I think, is pretty straightforward, to be honest, uh, with just not being able to use skill plates. Um, I think it's pretty straightforward. But where the heck is Rex Regan? Just so I can show it. I guess I, there he is right at the top. Wow. Um, here we go. This moveset botches, again, assuming this is the five times the way it looks like it should and all that jazz. Um, he should decimate that way too. So just a really good example of how maybe you think it sucks, but as you look deeper, it probably doesn't and might actually be a lot of fun. I can tell you from a content creator perspective, from my perspective, I haven't done a feud prep forever because I think they're, I mean, like really straightforward, right? Uh, one of the thing I do want to mention is uh, just a general feuding tip in general. The biggest mistake I see is people running too big of a roster. Just because you can fill all the slots doesn't mean you should. You run too big, it takes longer, you lose, you have long battles, it's frustrating, it's not very fun. If the if the if the matches are hard, you're running too big, go smaller. Don't fill a, a bonus just to get the line bonus. Most of the time, line bonuses really aren't even that big a deal. Uh, plus one move charge to purple moves could be good. Uh, plus twenty five percent damage to green gems. Eh whatever it's not really a big deal for a lot of the people you'd bring anyway right um when you're doing your css definitely go small when you go big with css it's super hard to get wins with those css is contest superstars um and find a feud partner and queue for the for the love of everything sacred and holy queue with people with your size roster if somebody's in there going ham with a uh, 290,000 roster and you go in with your 100,000 roster, you just screw both people over because you get usually get two people in the middle because um, matchmaking works based on your total talent. Um, so, you you know, you're running in there with 400K talent and three quarters of it is on one guy. So the smaller guy gets screwed and the higher guy gets screwed because he's not getting the opponents he wants. So there's another um, tip for you, too. The hardest one by far, and the one that look, looks the least fun on paper to me, is this next one, Feud 2. I plan on doing the least amount of my feuding on Feud 2, um, but I am going to try it out, and maybe it's better than I think. This is the one that worries me for people that don't um, spend, right? Because this has no entourage. So the buffs, though, there's some really big buffs, so we you could be okay. But when there when there is no entourage, obviously 99 MP has a massive benefit. The more 99 MP people you have, the better that is. Now that being said, the turtles should help. So a bunch of people have a lot of one or 99 MP people. Um, everyone should have Batista. Everyone should have Tonga Loa. Uh, a lot of people at this point, I would think, would have like um, May and Tamatonga. Maybe not everybody for sure. And then everyone should have Kofi Turtle, and most people should have Woods as well, uh, if they were active in playing. So that's a decent amount of 99 MP people. To be honest, I think regardless of the buffs, most of the good ones in this second feud, which I can't show you um, the stats, but if you look here, the Steel Cage rules are no entourage, so your, tr your, your trainers won't take effect except your promoter. Promoters work. Blast gems are buffed five times, multiply gems two times, X breaks 10 times, cross breaks 10 times, okay? In this particular one, I would suggest if you don't have a lot of 99 MP people going in very small and testing the waters um, so you don't potentially get frustrated and go from there. It's going to be very weird for people not being charged. I do want to mention some other 1 MP people real quick. Uh, besides the 99 MPs, Ozzy would be your friend in this one. Everyone has Ozzy if they just logged in, basically. Um, you have Ozzy, so use Ozzy at Trickster for this one. Also, um, maybe HBK, like Tricolor, so it recycles, is an option for some people. That's Acro HBK, uh, so he can like make and break blues. I don't think without an Entourage, he's going to be super amazing, but I'm throwing 1MP people out there. Um, interesting one, and I do want to look at this one, is I think Acro Warrior 
if you're not somebody that if you're somebody that doesn't have a lot of um 99 mp people for example and um he's somebody a lot of people invested in back in the day i think why can i not where's the search button there's no search button in the filters here interesting uh okay anyway acro warriors got three one mp moves uh, he doesn't make a lot of cross breaks with no entourage um, or X breaks. I mean, it's three, but he also has a buff move. So you, uh, you basically can break two gems and hit them again and keep getting the buff in the cross breaks. And then you can blow up the board. So I think Acro Warrior could be somebody that could do some work for a lot of you without a ton of 99 MP people, right? Um, you can see the list on the right. I don't think a ton of the... Uh, cross break people are going to be great. I'm going to do this a different way out of the lineup. Um, let's look at Warrior this way because I can search here. So, like these three moves for Warrior, right? And let me just look at HBK quick. I don't because the one MPs I think will be important. I think it's under Sean. Right here. You keep in mind your strap will still work, so you can strap these up and things, but just no entourage will make a big difference. Um, so that was HBK. Uh Ozzy, you guys should know by now. Um, and then is there any other one MPs that I thought of right up? No. So the other thing that's gonna be really big on this one, if you don't have 99 MP people, make sure you avoid 99 MP people when you don't have 99 MP people, right? So or or if you're going against somebody with a sub, let's say like a lot of the turtles, use the sub reduction trainers. Oh, no, those won't work. It's no entourage. A derp. Don't use those. Um, you're just going to have a hard time against 99 MP people, right? But like somebody like Batista, even though it's not buffed, you could run his power gem set. Um, if the multiply isn't working for you, if you don't have a big uh, strap, these are going to do really good work um, all alone by themselves. So keep that in mind. Generally, the a lot of the stuff that uh, I don't like for feuds can potentially be good this feud. Subs, power gems, um, and the like, right? Um, the trainers won't work to get matchy match, so there's no matchy match either. So the lower the charge, the better. Um, somebody like uh, that has like four, one to four MP moves, so on a swipe you load them will be great. Otherwise, you're going to have a hard time. Now, that being said, if you happen to have Jacob Fatu, although if you have Jacob Fatu, you probably have most of the 99 MP people, plus three on a match middle lane. I personally think this should have been on the bottom lane um, for plus three on a matchy match, and the one the, and just stayed with the static one MP in the middle lane um, because people with Jacob Fatu are mostly going to have 99 MP people. So I think that's a little bit of a miss there for future ones, right? Um... Again, you could use like Rick Steiner, but it's a little bit harder to get loaded, but he could stun lock when he gets there. Seamus, MOD Taker, Hall of Fame Ray, X Breaks, Powerhouse Razar, Ridge has a decent build set, Angle, um, weirdly enough, um, has the, the revamped one, so he might be able to do some work. If for some reason you have him high again, don't level people for this. It's more just kind of entertaining to me that um angle can make um 29 random gems into x breaks and then destroy 29 um and then he's got a gem debuff potentially so uh, also uh braid plate and and um veer would work on him speaking of veer could work for that there's just a ton i didn't list it ddp i think is actually not on the list but probably worth talking about just because he's got a one mp move um Diamond Dallas Page Tech, he was also reworked. Um, you could run him with the one MP move and make four random X breaks again. No entourage, but you could maybe have some fun with it. Just I don't know. Uh, when you're running against other non charged people, I'm I'm reaching here. This one looks the least fun to me, by the way, without 99 MP. Um, so blast gems, you got a uh, new powerhouse Cody, you could run uh austin you could run those two can both get charged on lower charges hall of fame taker with blues ridge triple black 
Uh, Zombie Cody, if you've got his gear, you could run triple red and he get charged fairly easy. Seth, triple red. Um, Zombie Ray, I don't know why I have triple red there. I forgot to change it. Probably I'd run triple black with him if you had his gear. Uh, maybe something else, but there's just the, they're there mainly just to, to mention. Again, I don't think a lot of people are going to be great this one. I think this one is going to be a struggle without 99 MP people, but as long as you're staying small, if you go big, you're going to run into people that all they have is 99 MP people. So part of your, your, your user experience on this one will be probably on you. Because <clears throat> if you go with the big lineup, you're going to find people loaded with 99 MP people, I promise you. Um, so that that's something you need to monitor and figure out a talent level that works for you. And this one, I feel like I just don't have a lot of great information other than some of those 1 MP people that can actually hit that we talked about. And then your 99 MP people list. I think the rest of it's just reaching mostly unless you're going. So like Rick Steiner would be a good one if you're keeping a low talent um, because he can stun lock and all that jazz. Same thing with Ridge if you're keeping a low talent. Um, people that you can charge with with a particular color, right? All their moves get charged sort of thing, I guess. Uh, that's what I'm trying to say. But you can see like the multis, I mostly just have listed 99 MP people as well. Um, Three, it should be pretty fun, too. Uh, I feel like actually really fun. I like the buffs a lot in Flash Feud 3. Um, in particular, the Immobile for Tech Bailey. That actually looks really fun. No straps and medals, which is worth noting. That's a big damage decrease, but uh, uh, 10 times multiply Immobiles is really nice, and Silence is nice. Then you have five times power gems, assuming it works right, and five times reinforce. Of course, your 99 MP ladies are Maxine, who has reinforce, and Mae Young, who can do silence. Um, so that's pretty beneficial um, right there. Um, so, and you can see I'm not focusing on the line bonuses. That's because, again, I don't think they're quite as big a deal as people tend to make them out to be. You're better off setting a roster that you can win efficiently with. Um, so let's filter this to women. It'll make it a lot faster. And so like Maxine for reinforce, um, you just her standard move set. She's got 99 MP. You can stack her up with green and reinforce trainers um, and she should still hit really hard. Uh, May, there's some interesting stuff. Um, if the her middle lane would be better if you have Sherry because it boosts the green, but to be honest, without straps and medals, May's not going to get it done this way. Um, she just straight up won't with green. You're going to have to probably go the silence route if you want to make uh, May work with the juggernaut gems and um, the choose move to tick it. This should hit really, really huge with a 10 times buff on the silence gems. Right, so I would run May that way. Um, <clears throat> I'm kind of jumping around here a little bit too, um, but let's go back to silence. So, hair Becky, that's um, bodacious Becky. Somebody, I think it was two Bob said hair Becky, and it cracked me up. Um, so totally stealing that. Um, for hair Becky, I'd probably just run triple purple to be honest. Because she's going to put a lot of silence gems on the board, charge it really easy, um, and then the finisher should be big. I'd probably run, I think I'd just run triple purple for hair Becky. Uh, tech Becky, original OG Tech Becky, could probably use her again. Uh, I know a lot of people have her six star bronze, six star silver. I don't know if anyone has her six star gold, but I personally have her six star bronze on my account. Um, and you could just run your 23 silence gems and uh, 21 silence into green. And then if you had the gear, you're going to get more. But that's like 230 green gems, right? Plus there's skill plates you can use, even though the straps and medals don't count. This one, your skill plates will. So the Uso skill plate, and you can add a little more there and stuff like that. I would probably do the choose black gems green with this so it recycles. That's probably what I would do right there. Um, with Becky. Um, the next two are actually 
really interesting with 10 times, and I didn't think I'd probably say that. Um, again, this is kind of neat. The, the, the first and the third feuds are pretty cool, actually. So Stacy, if you have the moment, she starts with four more MP, and then you're looking at being able to run this moveset, where you're going to have um, a bunch of uh, silence gems on the board, and also you can have the finisher uh, ready to hit 100% uh, red gem buff on top of those silence gems all being buffed 10 times. Uh, if you wanted to do this with a sheriff's badge, you could also use the cartwheel escape with this. Uh, but other than that, you could just simply put the sub in as well and get more silence gems on the board. Or uh, you could also put the choose purple in um, to recycle. Um, so Trick Stacy could actually be pretty interesting, um, which is funny. And actually, Hall of Fame Tori as well. A lot of people have leveled her up. Um, and this one, especially if you have one gear or the right uh, trainers to run it, um, could be pretty interesting. Um, you could literally just... Purple MP on every countdown. You could run triple purple if you wanted. That's probably what I would run. Um, but I wouldn't start with the sub if I had the gear and could. I would just hit this and then hit this and then use the, the sub to delay if I needed to. Because 35 times 10 reds should be pretty good. But you could also run the juggernaut gem um, too. That would increase your purple MP with the sub. Uh, a few different things you could do with Tori. Um, you could also use, uh, you could maybe even use the multiply gem move with it potentially too. Um, but I feel like something like this would be better. Probably triple purple, um, or the juggernaut and the purples, right? So Tori could be interesting that way. Um, now to show you Bailey, uh, Bailey, I think the fact that there's no strap would kind of be made up for with the 10 times buff, I think. Um, and in particular, this could potentially be very, very fast. Um, cause you're going to get 32 buffed, actually you're going to get 21 buff gems, right? Um, and you could do the recycling trick potentially with it if you wanted to gamble. Uh, but I would just see how this would hit with Bailey. I don't know what it's going to do for sure. Like this, I've never played this. So your guess is as good as mine, how hard it'll hit. Like I'm used to playing with straps, not trying to extrapolate damage without straps. So I'm just hazarding a guess. It'll be pretty solid with the buff um, to potentially really, really good. And it's something you can try because ladies, there's only going to be a few 99 MP people you have. Obviously, because there's no strap in metal, that makes a big, big, difference right and um from here also maurice and the other tory you can use for immobiles too a lot of people built maurice i think her gear actually helps this move set which is pretty terrible um until now and that would just be simply the blue blue red right or blue red red one of those two yeah blue red red a bunch of reinforced gems it's also a hardcore so if it's a striker you're really gonna smoke them with this um, and it's reinforce. Um, a mobile was just Bailey that I came up with, to be honest. And then Showboat Tori, the other one, triple yellow. Pretty standard build for Tori. It's got a stun. It's got a buff. It, it makes them... Um, and it, with the moment and stuff, that would probably hit really hard. I'm not going to show that one. Uh, power gems, they're all strikers. Naomi, Sherry, and Sonya. Naomi and Sherry are both super rare. Um, Sonya, rare but not ridiculously so so i'll just show the sonia one for this one um right here and that would be blue blue and black right there to get the power gems out power gems are five times uh buff if it works right uh so they should be pretty nasty power gems and then add your entourage on top uh if it works Right, the power gems should be great because the straps don't help power gems at all. So they're playing fully, fully buffed, essentially. 
no debuff to your power gem people at all, just a buff on top of it. So power gem people all of a sudden look way more attractive. So yeah, I think this feud looks like it could be pretty interesting too. And to wrap this up pretty quickly, the fourth flash feud is just normal rules. So I don't think I'm going to really go into it. Um, you can see the info right here if you didn't know, but that's the info and just regular rules, no steel cage rules. So that's kind of my feud breakdown for steel cage. Um, I'm super curious about feedback. Like I said, it's been forever since I bothered doing these because I think most of the choices are too straightforward. I think your big things, guys, are uh, not running too big a lineup that you can handle, especially if you don't have a lot of 99 MP. Focusing on the the people you do have that can take advantage of some of the some of the buffs uh, quite nicely. And other than that, um, go into it with an open mind. Because uh, I think that'll make it a lot easier for you. If you go into it hating it, you're going to hate it, right? Um, if you play it and you hate it, that's fine. Um, nothing you can do about that. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Um, but I would say keep an open mind and give it a try. I do know that I love the idea that I'm going to be able to use some people that I had basically canned as I'll never use that character again, right? So I, I do find that super cool. And I think there's a lot of potential here. Um, and if we as like a community can work with Scopely and get it, uh, tuned to where it's just, they're fun and it's pretty balanced for all level of players, uh, I think that could be really cool. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe and share. Uh, this took a lot of time to get ready, so I hope it's worth it and I hope you like it. Other than that, guys, have fun this weekend. Good luck out there and thanks for watching. Yeah. It's kind of weird to do this again. I think I like it though.